Hello everyone, welcome to Oxford Graffiti. We're going to begin at the Little More Subway with these things. The, we have here a cat with a pet, it's like a cat with like medieval frills on. And there's a pentagram up there. And it's Dr. Beak. There's, two, there's another Dr. Beak over here. There's another cat. With, oh, sorry, darling. There's another cat with a pentagram. Now, Dr. Beak looks like a plague doctor. I wonder if that's got anything to do with uh, you know what. <laughs> the C word, the cerveza sickness, the disease. Anyway, I'll carry on down there. Now these I think we've all seen before. And actually, um, I think these were, were they there before? I've got to apologise actually if I if I repeat any, but there's like suitcases. Yeah, suit, I can't, it's hard to see what they are from a distance. I thought they were some kind of helmet. It's actually a suitcase with a cat in it. And it's like a stencil, it's actually, and there's another stencil there. It's a, it's a stencil that's like repeated various times with different colours. Very good. All right, guys, so we've got a bit of an update here. Now, th this side's all still the same. But the funny thing is, sometimes I see the same images and I notice something new about them. And it could be, I'll show you some of the images that were in the previous episodes of this particular project. But I'll, just new things I've noticed lately. Like the Uffington White Horse there. I've just spotted that and I may have noticed that before. There's been some updates here. There's this new face there. This, uh, this new feminine face that's just appeared. And there's, that's an amazing one, isn't it? I recognise the style of this artist. They've put on lots of things. They've, uh, they did something under the, the river bridge as well, like a Marilyn Monroe one. And there is, you've seen these before, I think these have been there before. And uh, I just noticed, I didn't notice this before, but this image, which was there before, these two curved objects are actually pencils. They're bent and warped, and they've got bits coming off them as if it's like ink coming off of them, even though they're pencils. See the rubber at the end there? Very clever. They seem quite dynamic, as if you, it almost, almost feels like they're moving. Very good. I think there's some work being done on these Sonic the Hedgehog pictures. There's that red Sonic. There before, and there's the tails. That's still, oh, that, I remember that from last time. They've still got these amazing images, multi coloured kind of illuminated text, which I can't decipher. And there's this Humpty Dumpty like character just before you get to the, the mycelium text here. I've never played this game, so maybe you recognise these characters and I don't. This is new Mob, M O B. F Fleece, fuck a fleece. That's a tail symbol. Oh my god, look! It's the Illuminati! Funny if there's a little, there, was a, there used to be there's a little more half face somewhere along here. There it is. And that little more half face is still there. Rather unusual motorbike here. Don't see many of these. It's an old one. Nice one. I think this is the badge. If anyone will identify that for me. I'm trying to start it right now. This is interesting. This um, electricity switch box and got an image on it to make it look an old fashioned audio cassette. It's a boom box coming soon. And this one has M written on it. That's very effective, that's very nice. Okay, here's another view of that with the posters gone. Very nice. Does that say Ben? Someone left me a message. Is that for me? Look at this loft. Um, it's obviously there's the Oxford skyline. Loft Oxford, I don't know what that means. It's anyway, we're on James Street here, just off the Cowley Road, and I just discovered this. It's very nice. Though I don't know what it means, loft. Now, this is very nice. This is on the side of the house of Stockmore Street. And as you can see here, it's like there are some musicians and there's the ultimate picture palace again it's it's sort of like a montage of scenes from the sort of county road area now it looks quite old in fact it's flaking a little bit you can see what's funny is i've never noticed that before the guy with the saxophone on it looks like he's on a skateboard by the look of things yeah very nice all right guys there's no there's no graffiti here as such but there's really thick fog this morning here at oriel field oxford just look at that man Visibility is like, I don't know, 40, 50 feet. It's a real pea super. 
it's lovely, it's really amazing. It gives this place a real atmosphere. I, unfortunately, the sun will soon evaporate it, but uh, while it's here, I'm going to enjoy it. Look at this one. Look at the. I can't see a thing. Normally, you can see right over to the fence and tree line in the distance. It's really, really amazing thick fog. Today, there's slightly less fog, but it's still lovely. Look at the sun shining through it, it looks beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful here today. It's beautiful. It really is. Look at this. It's lovely. It is a beautiful, beautiful thing, this fog. It's thinner than before, but in a way, it's, it's lovelier. Okay, guys, I'm back at the Littlemore subway. And there's some new... There's a new image here next to the picture you're familiar with, that face there. Uh, some swans. And there's some black swans as well. Now, Black swans are native to Australia, and white ones, of course, are European. This isn't any speedy demon. You go along here, that bit you've seen before, and there's a picture of planet Earth. Quite a simple image, but quite powerful. And there's these grey buildings that says, do you care? Do you care about the Earth? And along here, we've got this, uh, there's a picture of a flower here. It looks like it's already painted over by that, unless that's part of the design. A dragon, a red Welsh dragon, breathing on a, there's a castle in there. Looks like there's a fox down there. Speedy demon again. There's also a new design here on in the actual underpass itself. It looks like an abstract series of pastel pinks and blues on this side. It's almost like crayon. Look like a crayon. There's like a chevron, chevron things there. And on this side, I'll show you, I'll show you this side. I'll just look out what out here. Let's look what else here first. So what's out here? Is this the same? Now this is still the same. It's Noah's Ark. Yeah, that's still the same. Is that the same as it was before? You know, I forget. I honestly forget what they are. I'll have to, I, I can't be bothered to go and edit the whole thing. But look, this, I'll show you the other side now of the underpass. More of the same as this. It reminds me a little bit of the wing makers. Do you know that the, the uh, wing makers uh, get the, you know, the ancient arrow project gallery? Are you familiar with the wing makers? That's sort of early internet age that is, but. That's kind of structure, like a circular structure. That's meant to be something. Well, it's just abstract. Yeah. Here we have some new things here. Drebka, the tanks, bulldozer, car, and here. Merry Christmas. Yeah, nice. What's here? The Speedy Demon again over here. Some pictures of birds, birds are afraid to help our wildlife. Oh, that's, oh look, there's some, uh, there's some uh, African savannah animals, lion, zebra, rhino, and there's a deer, there's an owl, and a bear. This is, was this here before? It's been painted over anyway. Of course, those dogs I'm familiar with. That's nice, there's this sort of like tessellation, or overlap of, not tessellation, overlap of images and shapes. That's new, I think. These were there before, these Sonic the Hedgehog characters. We've got like um, boom boxes, it's a boom box. As I see, this is further down Cowley Road. And there's a, another design. I don't know exactly what that is. Is it eyes? It looks like the intakes of, a, of an aeroplane. It looks like the intakes of an aeroplane's jet engine. Nice. It's clearly a work in progress. I'll have to come back to it later. Cassette has gone, it's the same place where that cassette was. Look at this. There's a huge mural right outside this house here. Lisa made it, 2023, it's brand new. Well done, Lisa, wherever you are. This is really nice, look. It's sort of childlike, sort of dadaistic, but very, very charming. Flower Lane, I like it. Look at this, this mural. 
I spotted it from a distance as you approach it, it really looms out at you. It really does. It's just up by this, this community centre here in Rose, Rose Hill Community Centre. Look at that. Look at this. It's a whale, my favourite animal. That's incredible. Saturday the 18th of November. It says there, whale parade, join the whale parade. Creative Lights Festival. There's a signature at the bottom, wow. That's one of the most amazing pieces of folk art I've ever seen. Wow. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I love it, I love it. Well done whoever made that. Right, I don't know what this is. It looks like a pile of clothes pegs, but it's here on this fence, on this residential house. Well, it's been changed already. It's got like this new picture on here. So, like, you know, the, old, the stars are still there, but like, there's this abstract squirrely pattern swirls and things on a few shapes. It's got dinosaurs and things on there. Let's take a closer look at this one. Operation Boombox. Overcoming a lack of space for music and art in Oxford. What's a fresh face for the streets? Street furniture. I like that. They're the CMAS graffiti crew who we've seen before. You know, who, yeah. Yeah, visually attractive musical theme places. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I like that. Um, we'll scan that QR code if you want. Brilliant, well done. And you've done a good job here, I must say. We, also, we, we, we were pushing a bit too hard in the end last year when the weather got really bad. So I think this year when we come into we fresh a break, start again. Can I phone to you? What's your name? What's your... Oh, I'll give you my card. Um, All right. What's uh, your name? Can I phone oh, Manny. You? My name's Manny. This is Alex. Alex and Manny, hello. Uh, these are the artists, ladies and gents. Yeah. Uh, and that's this is the inspiration for this new. I'll show you well, when it's finished. Record, but yeah. The record is the inspiration. Talk about the record. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a, a, a trio called Voice. They're uh, female vocalists who sing like in a medieval kind of oh, way. Nice. And so I, I responded by doing kind of like stained glass window designs like in a church to their sort of. Um, Style of their music. Excellent. Oh, he's next to a very, he lives next to a very famous church. Well, thanks, Manny well. and Alex. Thanks very much. Sure. And you've got to hold your shirt. This is me if you want to find a more. Right. Card, shame, shame, shame. Yeah. Hey, Danny, you're all right. There's a. Yeah, this is. Oh, thanks very much. Because I, I love these. I love all, the, all this, this artwork. It's brilliant. Oh, this is brilliant. This is, oh, this is nice. See, this is. Um, as, as Birdman murals and community. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Well, it's good to meet you both. <laughs> these are the artists. I finally met the artists. Pleasure meeting you, my friend. Okay, guys, we're going to go take a closer look at those business cards that I got from the artist. This is Manny's, the big orange M. Dot com. This is website. It's, these are good. It's like playing cards. You reverse them. It's the same. The big orange M. It's one's orange, one's one's pur one sort of purpley turquoise. David, I could approve of that. And it's a, there's the orange. But then you turn it over. I like this. Is, this is this is very stylish. That is. You get his email address there. Email. The big orange gem at gmail.com. It's just a very neat, very well designed retro feel to this. <clears throat> Find out more at follow us on Instagram and follow us on Instagram and follow us on Instagram. The big orange gem paintings, commissions, landscapes, portraits, graffiti, street art, community projects, prints, postcards, greeting cards, murals, and more. I'm particularly interested in the graffiti and street art, yeah, which I think they specialize at. And then here's the other one. This is Alex, the other guy. As Birdman or AS Birdman murals and community projects. There you are. And this is, look, this is, oh, this is nice. I don't recognise that wall, I don't know where it is, but it's maybe somewhere in Oxford because look, there's minis, there's Mini Coopers, red, yellow, blue Mini Coopers. This is a self preservation society. That's a song from the Italian job, yeah. A f film which features these minis, which is uh, Oxford's. Most famous export, our greatest gift to the world, along with our brains and academics. Um, on the other side, <coughs> asbirdman.net, you see, asbirdman, this is phone number, Alex Paints Paintings at uh, gmail.com, there you go, so check those guys out, it's nice to meet the artists, it's nice to, uh, to meet those artists at last. You're not going to believe this guys, there's a train going over the bridge. How often do you see this? How often do you see a train going over this bridge? This, uh, this is a railway, it's a branch line that connects the main line south 
to the car factory, the BMW works, Oxford's primary industry. And <clears throat> I don't know how often, I've. this is only the second time I've ever been here when a train is going over this bridge. Incredible. See if we can see if we can get close to it before it drives off. Look at that. And the, <laughs> I say, Ben, where's your anorak? You're at a train spotting now, are you? But uh, you know, it's just I just find it interesting. It's just as you don't see that very often. I mean, a lot of people come down here. They actually think this bridge is disused. They actually think it's like an old bridge and no one uses it anymore. There's no, there's no traffic on it. But there is, a, there is actually here a train. It's maybe full of cars, maybe full of. It may be full of new cars. There it goes. You can hear them loco over the locomotive over there. You just maybe just see it through the trees. And we've been waiting for a space to rail traffic control people. We're giving it a space to get onto the onto the track where it has to take probably cars. It's probably got cars in it. <coughs> there he goes. Can you believe that? <coughs> That's something you don't see every day, ladies and gents. A train going over the bridge. I wonder how long it is. Look. That's how long is it? Let's go over here. I don't nothing go. There she goes. I saw a sort of line of blue and I thought, what's that? It's a bloody train going over this bridge. They've uh, been going through Oxford Station. And look, here's the finished result. Very like colourful, patchy, colourful, patchy and lines and wedges. And you see, there's some images there. There's a someone like a person with a glass. And there's someone down there. Look. There's like a shape there, it's a fleur de I can't quite see what that is. There's a cross, there's a cross motif there as well. A crucifix. Oh, I see, it's, a, it's an orb, it's like a royal orb. Oh, it's, I think it's Jesus. It's Jesus, it's got a halo, look. I think it's Jesus. Or a priest or something, there's more fleur de lis here. It's a fleur de lis. Yeah, very nice. Okay, there's some new. There's some new patterns on this now. Um, still the same, now that dog is still there, so a few tags over it, but look here, you can see like, on this side, there's been a completely new design. It's been put over the unicorn and also some illuminated text as well. Well, that's actually the amazing original text that was there. So that has been, so it's been altered slightly. But it's hard to see exactly. The colors underneath, I think might've been original. That dog's still there. This, these are memorials. Sadly, uh, on Wednesday, uh, a young man, 20 year old, died here. He fell off the bridge into the river and, and drowned. Very sad. So that was another nice big collection of graffiti uh, spanning the end of late 2023 and, 20, and early 2024. What will this new bring? What will this new year bring in terms of non-conformist folk art? Well, we'll have to wait and see. I'll be sure to report on it. Thank you for watching Hapanwo TV. Hospital Report is pride and dignity. Stop the new world order.